morning all. 3 a.m. in the morning. We just got up, not even 3. 5 to 3. Look how busy it gets. All these jeeps are driving past. <laughs> Guys, selling hats. Already got one yesterday for Charlotte. And this year, 8 degrees. It's going to be even colder when we get on the top of the volcano. Hello. Alright. How are you, Alvin? Nice to meet you. You have a driver, yeah? No. Oh, you're not a driver? Okay. <laughs> Where's the driver? I thought it was a driver. Yeah, we're inside. Oh. Right, cool. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. We're in the jeep now. Just setting off. And we head into the top of the mountain called King Kong Hill, where we're going to watch the sunrise. And after that, we go into the crater of Volcano. However, it's a bit cold, so I'm wearing a jumper. We did not expect that, but what the local people do with it here, they're selling you loads of scarves for two and a half quid, pretty much. I got Charlotte the purple hat last night. I think it has a logo on it. There you go, Romo. Yeah. Busy is. It's nice. You can't pull from the car park. Everywhere on the main street, and what you smell in the air is just the fumes. Happy? Yes. Awake? Actually, I'm quite very wide awake for this time of the morning. Did you sleep well though last night? I like to sleep. We are suffering from a little bit of a jet lag, but to be honest, around one o'clock, all the jeeps start driving past. How many jeeps do you think is going to be there? A thousand. Thousands? A thousand, because uh, from three terminal, eh? three places. Yeah, three places, yeah. This is mad. It actually looks like alien. Yeah. It? Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We just set off walking. Jeeps are all packed up. There's a thousand jeeps up there. So cool. Yeah. Yeah, this stuff is like colder and colder. Yeah. It really feels like that, doesn't it? Yeah. One, one. Okay, yeah, just one. Hey. We've got 100,000. We've got change. This one, I don't want Okay, thank yeah. you. Good. Ready? We now have a jacket, because it's so cold. And we're on our way up through the last part, I think. So glad to be off that road where all the fumes were. It was absolutely horrific. It's 20,000 rupees to us, which is quid. One pound <laughs> for a jacket. Really? <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm glad I bought it now. There's so many little restaurants and things you can sit and eat, have a coffee. Oh, I love it. Oh, noodles. You can have a noodles. See what they do? Everywhere you go, you've got noodles. Yeah. Okay. Coffee break? Good. Oh, it's warm in here. Bismarck, Bismarck, Bismarck. Coffee, please. Coffee. Yes, please. My new jacket. For one pound. Very happy. <laughs> Are you? I said which one's the spicy and 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 it's all good. Everybody stopped for a coffee break, I think. Well needed at 3 a.m. So people are so lovely though. 50, 50 p each for coffee. Noodles. I better not be spicy. <laughs> There'll be two volcanoes on this island. <laughs> Our guy just brought us some banana. A good snack. Oh, it's dusty. It's really like volcanic ash. Thank you. I've no idea how steep is here. Oh, it's madness. Madness. 
coming. Yeah, I'm good. You look like local, you do. A bit flat. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just try if you can see the glow on our faces at the moment. Over here is Bromo, where the smoke's coming out. And now we go and go there, that's a crater with all this smoke coming out. Barney's gonna smell like egg. Well, let's find out. Only way to find out is to get there. So we're walking down. It's a bit warmer now as well. Half an hour, yeah, it was freezing. Oh, so cold. It was freezing. Did we come this way? Yeah, it was flatter. It was so steep. It's like a way to dust here. So as you disturb the ground, it just oh, it goes in the air. You can't breathe. Oh, up. <laughs> oh, yeah. We should climb up here about an hour and a half ago in the dark. Good job we had the torches. Yeah. One man down. Thank you. Nope. This one, yeah? One of the busiest days because it's Sunday, so obviously a weekend. So now we've got to get through this to our jeep. We might get one over here. <laughs> Some old right behind us. Can't wait for some food at the bottom of Bromo. So we're going back down to the, the base of the crater before we get in a jeep and go in the black sand. And I heard there's really nice breakfast there as well. And we're both very hungry now. So. You can see in the light now all the different colour jeeps. It's got to be the most amount of jeeps in the whole world in one place. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, you said there's thousands of them. Two advices when you come here. Dress warm because it's going to be cold. So temperature wise it's a dry season now and it's colder. Uh, then yeah. during the wet season, but well, wet season obviously is going to rain most likely. Dry season is just basically colder, so it was about 8 degrees on the top, currently it's about 13, and the highest it's going to get today is 15. So, no matter what, long sleeves. <laughs> Another thing is, don't dress white trainers. Don't dress white trainers because of the time. White trainers, white socks, that's it. <laughs> and the most important one advice is get yourself a face mask for two reasons. One reason is the dust, which goes in the air, because the, the, the sand is just so fine, like a flower. Another reason is the, the fumes from the cars are just unbearable, almost unbearable. Even if you're sat, sat inside one of those, and they all follow following each other, and so many bikes, it's just hard to breathe, basically. Other than that, good experience. We all bad adrenaline. Quite intense and physical, <laughs> yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, worth doing, definitely. And the views were incredible. We found our Jeep yeah. again. Ah, no. yeah. Yeah. Got back down to the bottom of the crater now. Amazing. Yep. 
some banana. Little pit stop because we're about to climb on the top of the crater now. Uh, we stop for some breakfast. Just had one each. Order some fried rice, Coca Cola, and two chocolates for some uh, sugar. Over there, we go to the top and see what it's like. Kind of excited, never seen anything like in my life. I'm hoping to see like a red lava. Well, we'll see. I reckon we're about halfway, maybe a bit more than halfway. You can take a horse up to the top. Oh, up to here at least. If you need to. It looks like there's stairs from this point onwards as well. We just put on masks because it was so dusty and really felt like just breathing a lot in. But they're only a few pence, so you can buy them here. No. Feels like we're on Mars. <laughs> we're at the stairs now. <laughs> just about. Last bit to the crater. Come on. Two hundred fifty. For one way. 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 of the crater now and you can really smell the sulfur Ugh. it's really loud as well yeah bad stop here no okay village near Ijen, the next volcano that we're going to be walking tomorrow to see um, the crater and the blue lake at the bottom and the sunrise so um, we're on the road now it's a six hour drive we've done about halfway there just over halfway so all of those blue houses they've got little allotments outside but yeah. they're just growing their own vegetables houses of the people who work in the coffee plantation which we're driving through at the moment oh we're gonna go have a look at little waterfall stretch our legs stretch you just notice on the way just down there a little stream with green water and it's green because of the sulfur coming from volcano so we asked to stop it there but he said no let's go to waterfall so we go let's have a look of the green waterfall Oh, cool. Yeah. I think we've been driving for about, well, nearly six hours now, I think. Plus two traffic jams with two carnivals. <laughs> I'm still saying it's not toxic to, to your body, to your skin, because of the small concentration of it. But, uh, in general, it would be if it was coming directly from there. A volcano. It smells a little bit, doesn't it? I put my finger. It does it? smell a little bit eggy. Just arrived. Let's just pull over. And we're staying in this building. Let's show you around them. Oops. This is when you walk in, one bed, seven single, one double, and walls. 
<laughs> one light, one plug. Go in there, we've got a sink. And very, this is very similar to the previous state, previous place we stayed. <laughs> it's very, very similar. It looks like, looks cooler though. Proper wild. Bye.